Yes, this is my coffee mug. How cool is this? And no, it's not full with coffee because I would probably literally be so jittery. It's in this humongous mug. It's one of my favorite Star Wars mugs because Java. Have a glass of Java, will ya? Season two of The Mandalorian is right around the corner. Starting this Friday, October 30th on Disney Plus, we are going to get to see Mando, Baby Yoda, Cara Dune, Greek Karga, all of our really fun beloved characters that we found in season one are returning and I cannot wait to see where this adventure takes them. Of course, we need snacks for any watch party, am I right? So I'll probably be sharing some Star Wars, Mandalorian themed recipes throughout the season, but I wanted to share one that is one of my personal favorites for you guys in case you're interested in having it for your watch party. Earlier in the year, I made Baby Yoda deviled eggs. Right before Easter, I think, for my Easter dinner, they were so cute so easy and literally guys I mean it so easy you make this with things that you already have in your kitchen which is in my book and so I'm going to show you how to make these today and I hope you try these out for one of your Mandalorian watch parties for season two if you're looking for more Star Wars or Mandalorian recipes I've also got a Mandalorian pumpkin pie perfect for fall of course that is also really easy and I promise you guys I'm not just saying that I have a stencil on my blog that you can use to make Mando helmets with a little bit of cinnamon on your pie crust and I'm telling you what this is the way your guests will love this pumpkin pie so try that out also how many Mandalorian quotes am I going to try to stick in this video probably too many but we will see I have spoken so for the baby Yoda deviled eggs I wanted to make them green and I didn't want to add food coloring, so I actually used a little bit of avocado to give the green shading for the deviled eggs. And I'll tell you what, I think I prefer it even to normal deviled eggs because I put avocado on everything. I'm just I'm fancy like that. So here's what you're going to need. Of course, we are going to need some hard boiled eggs. So I went ahead and made these in my Instant Pot. However you want to make your hard boiled eggs is fine. Also, the great thing about this recipe is you can make as many or as little as you want. So I'm going to make four. At least I have four eggs today. So we'll see how many Baby Yoda's we get out of that. We're going to need some celery for Baby Yoda's ears. You could probably also use something like cucumber or another green vegetable would be fine. You are going to need mustard, mayo, peppercorns for the eyes. You could also use black um, olives or some other type of vegetable for the eyes some salt and pepper, as well as some avocado. I'm going to just be using an avocado cup that I already have, it's already mashed up for me, it makes it super, super easy, but if you don't have that, just grab an avocado and make sure it's nice and ripe. Go ahead and and crack those eggs, get those eggs up, what did I even say that? De-shell, de-shell your hard boiled eggs, please, at this point. Do not smash them, cut them, anything, just get those shells off. You can also try and make some eggs that are like the eggs that the Jawas eat um, in the second episode of season one. That would be kind of fun. Okay, now we are going to hmm, slice our eggs. I had to think about what was next. But first I realized I didn't put my apron on. Stay there, be right back. Of course, you guys know that I love the, my geeky things, and of course, I have a Star Wars apron, so I have to wear it in this video, of course. Okay, grab a cutting board. This is my Han Solo in Carbonite cutting board that I got for Christmas last year. I love having some Star Wars gear in my kitchen, as you can see. I'm just slowly, you know, creeping in my Star Wars decorations. Pretty soon, I will have a Star Wars kitchen. So we're gonna put Han Solo down. We're not gonna cut him, don't worry. So, here are your hard boiled eggs and we are going to slice those longwise, so right down the middle. You can go ahead and put the yolks in a bowl but leave the whites just sliced in half like that. Okay, now in your bowl, go ahead and put your yolks. 
Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and make the filling for the deviled eggs that we are gonna do. So I've got all my yolks in a bowl. I'm gonna give them a good smash real quick. We are going to add our mayonnaise. We're gonna add our mustard. We're gonna go ahead and add our avocado. Try to get all the lumps and the bumps out of there. It's probably easier said than done. Go ahead and add a couple grinds of salt and pepper to your liking. Now I really feel like I'm on a baking show. You know, I really have no idea what I'm doing. This is all trial and error, to be honest. Okay, now real quick, we're just gonna make some Baby Yoda ears. We're gonna get a stalk of celery and then just in small pieces, just cut off little diagonal triangles and we'll stick them in the side of his head when we have our eggs assembled. So I'm just going to do probably about half an inch. And so now we have some ears like that. Just little guys we're going to use. Okay, for the next step, just to make things a little easier, I am going to use a icing bag. You could also use a sandwich bag. You can also probably just spoon this in, but I'm gonna put my mixture in an icing bag with a round icing tip. You could also just clip it off at the bottom and not use a tip, just to kind of make things a little cleaner. So I totally forgot to put my icing tip in the bag, so I'm not using an icing tip. I'm just gonna cut it at the bottom. Less mess, less cleanup. So I made four hard boiled eggs. I cut them in half. I've got eight pieces right now that look like this. These are gonna be Baby Yoda's little pod. And so I'm gonna keep half of my eggs like this, um, kind of just like a half piece. And then half of them I'm gonna cut in quarter pieces, which is gonna be the top of Baby Yoda's little baby carriage, little baby dome. So like for example, this one already ripped accidentally, whoops. I'm going to cut this, or I would have cut this, a little bit more than half, and I want it to kind of look like this. This is going to sit on top for Baby Yoda's little baby carriage. Okay, all you're going to do now is take a bottom half, I'm going to put it on my plate right here. I'm gonna snip the end of my avocado egg substance. What I'm gonna do first is in the hole of the bottom egg, I'm gonna fill it entirely, just almost like think of it as like his body. Then at the front half, I'm going to put a little round mound for his head. Um, and having the bottom already filled will just, you know, work as the base. So this is the bottom, kind of like you would do a normal egg. Now I'm gonna try to make a round section for Baby Yoda's head. Now you're gonna pick one of your half egg pieces. This is gonna be the dome for Baby Yoda's little carriage. Go ahead and place that behind Baby Yoda. So right now, this is what my egg looks like. I'm gonna take two pieces of celery for the ears. Go ahead and put them in on either side of Baby Yoda's head. I'm using black peppercorns for the eyes, but again, you can use black olives if you would prefer that. And there we go. Go ahead and repeat for the rest of your Baby Yoda's real quick. This one's looking a little lopsided, so I think I'm gonna redo him. It's too heavy. He is a job of the hut egg. 
And that is it. We've got our cute little baby Yoda deviled eggs with avocado ready for The Mandalorian Season 2. Ready to save the child. These are super easy again and just things that you have around your house. Um, if you try it, please, whoa, this little baby's wandering off. If you try, whoa, it's slippery. He's the troublemaker of the bunch. If you try it, please tag me on Instagram or Twitter, wherever you try it. I'll have my social links down below. I'd love to see your creations as well. My baby Yodas are all over the place, so I'm gonna have to go eat these before they run off on me and create any more trouble. So these deviled eggs, you will notice they have some imperfections, if you will, but Baby Yoda is perfect with all of his charm, his wrinkles, his lumps, his bumps, and yes, these are just eggs. So let's just have fun with it, okay? Thank you so much for watching my Baby Yoda deviled egg tutorial today. If you guys liked it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe below. I've got other fun Star Wars recipes, geeky recipes, trailer reactions, interviews, you name it. All things from my favorite fandoms around here. I'd love to hang out with you more and I'd really appreciate the support. If you guys are going to be watching season two of The Mandalorian, please let me know in the comments what kind of content you'd like to see from me. More recipes, DIYs, episode recaps. I would love to geek out with you over The Mandalorian, so let me know what you guys would be interested in. Until I see you, may the force be with you. Couldn't think of any good Star Wars puns, so obviously I had to go with that one. Very original. Bye!